Hey there, ever wonder if AI could actually help us become better thinkers? Like, not just faster or more efficient, but really more insightful and nuanced in how we think. Well, that's exactly what we're diving into today. Definitely interesting. We've got some fascinating research straight out of Birmingham City University. And get this, it's from their journalism program. Journalism? Huh. Might seem like a weird place to explore how AI could make us more human. But it actually makes perfect sense when you think about it. Okay, now I'm all ears. Tell me more. Think about the crazy challenges journalism educators are up against these days. Oh, I can only imagine. Students are practically drowning in a sea of information, right? And let's be real, the temptation to just use AI tools for shortcuts is huge. But here's the kicker. This research actually leaned into those tools. And guess what? The results were pretty surprising. Okay, now you've really got me hooked. What did they find? Did using AI actually make these journalism students better at their craft? That's exactly what they wanted to figure out. And the answer seems to be a big fat yes. Wow. But it's not about AI spitting out perfectly written articles. It's not about replacing human skills at all. The goal was to see if AI could help students develop those essential human skills that make for a great journalist. Critical thinking, finding diverse viewpoints, really getting deep into the data and uncovering the core of a story. You know, the good stuff. So they were basically using AI to boost those skills instead of replacing them. You got it. They even found that the students who used AI in this program got higher marks on their assignments and stuff. No way. For but, real. Yeah. We're talking an average of five percentage points higher overall. And get this, when it came to critical evaluation, that jump was even bigger. How much bigger are we talking? Try eight percentage points. Whoa. That's wild. You'd think that leaning on AI would make you less critical, not more. What's the deal with that? I know, right? Totally counterintuitive. But it shows how powerful it can be to use these tools strategically. It's not about letting AI do your thinking for you. It's about how it can help you look at information differently, ask sharper questions, and uncover insights you might have totally missed otherwise. Okay, I need an example. How were these students actually using AI in class? One of the big things they found was how much AI helped students make sense of data, which, let's be honest, is super important for any journalist. Right. So picture this. You're a student, and you can now use AI to look at a massive amount of data. Could be social media posts, news articles, whatever. AI can help you find patterns, trends, even story ideas that you wouldn't have seen just by skimming through yourself. So it's kind of like having an AI research assistant by your side, helping you cut through all the noise and get right to what matters. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. And it's not just about getting the big picture. AI can help journalists. Heck, it could help anyone diversify their sources, which can be tough even for seasoned reporters. Right. Finding a variety of voices is so important for well-rounded reporting, but it can be super time consuming. You might not even know where to start to find those different perspectives. How did AI help with that? Okay, imagine you're a student working on a story about, let's say, the impact of climate change on a specific community. You could just ask an AI tool something like, find me experts on climate change from this specific region, but they have to represent marginalized communities. And boom, AI gets to work sifting through tons of information to find potential sources that a student might not even know exist. That's seriously impressive. It's like having this huge global network of voices right there at your fingertips. Exactly. And it goes beyond just finding those voices, too. AI could even be used to analyze how diverse the sources are in a specific story or across a whole publication. Like, it could point out blind spots and help journalists realize whose perspectives they're missing and whose voices are being left out. That's a total game changer, not only for aspiring journalists, but for the pros, too. Are we going to see AI fact checkers becoming the norm now? It's definitely possible. But beyond the practical stuff, there's another really interesting finding from this research. It's about how the students were interacting with the AI itself. So get this. For some students, talking with the AI was like this shame-free way to get feedback. Makes sense. They felt way more comfortable, you know, just typing questions into a chat bot, stuff they might have been hesitant to ask a professor or even other students. Totally. There's like this level of anonymity and safety there. You don't have to worry about sounding dumb or anything. Exactly. It's so true. And that freedom to just play with ideas, to try different things without being judged. Well, it really helps some students connect with the material on a deeper level. It's like that saying, learning by teaching, right? Often when you explain something to someone else, that's when you really understand it yourself. Did they find that even when the AI didn't have the right answer 
just messing around with it was still good for the students. 100%. The researchers kept saying AI shouldn't be some shortcut that makes human effort pointless. Yeah. It's not about replacing our intelligence. It's about using AI as a tool to make our own abilities even stronger. So it's a partnership. Like we bring our curiosity and creativity, our ability to see connections, and AI can help us see those connections in a new way, reveal stuff we hadn't even thought about. Exactly. Which brings us to something that always seems to come up when we talk about AI, this idea that if we let tech do the hard work, are we losing something important along the way? Are we losing that human spark? It's the whole robots are going to take over fear, right? We've all seen those sci-fi movies. Okay. So what does this research say about that? Well, here's the really cool part. This research actually challenges that assumption. They found that students were still completely engaged with research and reading. They were still putting in the effort, wrestling with complex stuff, and forming their own opinions. So it's not about AI versus human intelligence. It's about finding the best ways to use these tools to help us, to make us even better. Right on. AI can help us cut through the noise, process stuff faster, even uncover hidden biases. But it's still on us as humans to figure out what it all means, to think critically, to ultimately decide how we use it. Okay, let's talk about bias for a second. That feels like a big deal with AI, right? After all, these systems are learning from massive amounts of data that could have all sorts of prejudices baked in. How can we make sure we're not making those biases worse, especially in something like journalism, where being objective is so important? It's true. The bias thing is huge. But that's actually where we need the human element even more. Okay, I'm listening. We have to be aware of potential bias in everything. I don't care if it's AI or a human expert. It's always there. Right. And being aware isn't enough. We have to actually use critical thinking skills, question assumptions, look at things from different angles, you know, really be willing to dig in when something seems off. So it's more about using AI to ask better questions and be really careful with the information we get, not about blindly trusting it. Bingo. In fact, the researcher thinks AI could actually help make education more fair and accessible for everybody. Wow, really? How could AI make education more equal? So one idea that blew my mind was using AI to translate academic jargon. Like, imagine if students could understand complex stuff without tripping over all those technical terms they don't know. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. I've slogged through so many academic papers and felt totally lost. It's rough. And it can be intimidating, especially if you're new to a subject or if that kind of language isn't normal for you. For sure. It's like this barrier. But AI could break it down, make knowledge more inclusive. It's like giving everyone an equal chance to understand those complex ideas, no matter their background. What other possibilities are there for AI in education? Okay, picture this. AI giving personalized feedback on student work, tailored to their own learning style. The researcher even built a custom AI tool they called a mini-editor. A mini-editor. <laughs> so that's cool. So how does that work? Students could ask this mini-editor specific questions about their writing, like, how can I say this better? Or, does my argument make sense with this evidence? And get this, the AI was trained on the researcher's own writing style and feedback. Wow, so it's like having a personal writing coach available all the time. That could be a game changer for students who don't get enough feedback. Totally. And it gets you thinking about the future of education. What does learning look like in a world where AI can give you personalized instruction, feedback, and support all the time for everyone. It's not just about memorizing facts anymore. It's about critical thinking, problem solving, and learning how to learn in a world that's constantly changing. So it sounds like AI is going to completely change education as we know it. 100%. But the biggest takeaway, don't be scared of AI. If we use it right, it can actually make us better and create a better learning experience for everybody. This has been amazing. It's clear we're just getting started with AI in education. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Be sure to check out the show notes for all the research and stuff we talked about. See you next time.